After taking a month's break, I returned with a brand spanking new upload. With the new season in Rocket Pass, the temptation was too great, and I came back to get my placements and decided to make another video. Since I have plenty of time, as I'm currently in quarantine in my home, and only have uni work to keep me occupied, I thought there's no better time than the present, so here we are. Before the video starts, be sure to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links to both are in the description below, and it's a great way to follow the channel closer and interact with both myself and other followers. Also, be sure to like and subscribe if you're new to browse my other content, and also turn on notifications to be notified when I upload. So, without further ado, I formally welcome you all back to my humble channel and to 6 tips to score every goal in Rocket League. We all have that game. Your team has 10 or more shots to your opponent's 1 or 2, yet you don't score and they score both of their shots. It's frustrating and it leaves you pulling your hair out, wondering how on earth you couldn't score. Was it their defense, your offense, or a combination of both? The thing is, you cannot control how good your opposition's defense is, which means that the only way to overcome this is to make your offense undefendable. So let's begin. Firstly, a common misconception is that if you struggle to put the ball in the back of the net, it's because your shots are too simple or too easy to defend, so you must amp up the difficulty. Ceiling ceiling shots, flip resets and air dribbles. The thing is, whilst these are great, they're only great when they work, which unless you're a high champ to grand champ player, is very infrequently. That is why you must focus on the basic shots, as boring as they seem, as these will get you goals much more regularly than pulling off an unsavable air dribble bump play once every 10 games. So before you go for that ceiling shot, I urge you to elect for that dribble play or hook shot as despite its relative ease, it is a much more reliable and effective shot. Now we move on to the second tip, and that is to utilize training packs. I know this is a pretty common and well-known tip, but you would be surprised the amount of players who don't use it, and even if they do, they don't spend nearly enough time using it. The pack that I find is by far the best is ground shots. What you should do is take at least five of every shot, and before you shoot it, tell yourself what part of the net you're going to put it in. Doing this repetitively will improve your accuracy and confidence from all over the field, and it is arguably the best way to improve your shot efficiency. Our third tip is very simple. It's all about, and I cannot stress this enough, power. If you can shoot a faster shot, it is going to be harder to save every single time. If you watch high level or pro gameplay, you will notice most shots are going in at 100 km per hour or faster, so it's really a no brainer. In order to generate more power on your shots, try not to hit it with your nose or flip in a straight line. Cut across the ball and flip doing something such as a hook shot, or use air roll to change the ball's trajectory and add a little extra power. Believe me, it can make a world of difference in close situations. Having passed the halfway point of the video, we move on to tip number 4, and that is to try to read your opponent. If you know what your opponent is doing and if they are challenging and where they are going to be, it can make shot selection a lot easier. For example, if your opponent begins to boost and drive towards you, you should flick the ball to get it over them. Similarly, if they sit in net, take your time, get a little bit closer and then pop it to either side. Additionally, if you notice your opponent is too far to one side or isn't rotating back posts, hit it to the other side where they cannot save it. This can make even the hardest of shots significantly easier. Our fifth tip centers around the idea of decision making and knowing when and when not to shoot. A reason why you may have such a low shot to goal conversion rate is because your shots are merely balls that just roll on net. If you are low on boost and your opponents are waiting in net, taking a shot probably isn't the best idea, as it will be weak and easily saved and counted, rendering your attack useless. Moreover, if it is a difficult shot that you are unlikely to make, just don't shoot it. Look for a pass or just play possession to bait one of the defenders out. Remember this, just because you have the ball near net, it doesn't mean you have to shoot. Three good shots are better than six weak ones. And finally, our last tip focuses on the concept of crossing your opponent over. You may recall from my shadow defense tutorials that you want to be driving on the same line as your opponent. However, as an attacker, you don't want this to happen. You want your lines to cross over. The reasoning behind this is that it only gives the defender one opportunity to challenge, as he cannot fake and he has to go either right back or dive straight in. It puts you in a position of power to either flick, dribble, hook shot, or even hit them with a nasty fake. And that wraps it up for the six tips to score every shot in Rocket League. As always, I hope you learned something to incorporate into your gameplay as well as enjoy the video. Be sure to like and subscribe with notifications on to be alerted for any future uploads or streams. Other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Cheers.